Universal access to energy should be viewed as the first step towards eradicating poverty. That's according to the international development experts speaking during the fourth international off-grid lighting conference and exhibition. Dubai is playing host to the four-day conference for the first time, where over 450 delegates are expected to lead discussions on sustainable lighting solutions and providing clean and modern energy to more than 1.3 billion people living without access to electricity. While delivering his keynote address to open the conference, the UK Minister of State for the Department of International Development, Right Honourable Grant Shapps, stated that now is the right time for energy companies to provide sustainable energy solutions to those households in rural areas. While discussing their recently launched campaign, Energy Africa, Minister Schapp stated that they aim to achieve energy access for the African countries by 2030. It was added that solar-powered house electrification units that use easy payment solutions can support the energy needs at a reduced cost. According to the data by World Bank, 15.1 million solar lighting and electrification products have been sold to date, reaching 66 million people. The idea is to develop this and deliver it commercially. So we see here today, actually, at this uh, exhibition, uh, a lot of companies with really innovative products, and they're getting out there into the marketplaces. Some of the most remote, distant places on Earth, um, you know, remote villages, which will never see an electricity grid, and these companies are working out their own distribution networks. So that might be going through some, you know, existing distribution channels. For example, local suppliers who supply other products. It could be supplying the diesel or the kerosene. Instead, we'll supply the solar equipment. Um, there are all sorts of different routes to, to market, as it were. But the important thing is, it's not like traditional aid. This is getting the market to work, people paying for the power, and therefore companies coming in and delivering it. It's the, by far and away the fastest way to get electricity to everybody. At the moment, if we do what we're doing at the moment, um, Africa won't have electricity everywhere till 2080. It's too long. We want to deliver it in the next 15 years, and that's what Energy Africa is all about. The products that are sort of supply in this sector, the distributed renewable energies, they're available now. They're immediately deplo deployable and widely affordable. So from that perspective, especially with a couple of key enablers in place, we think we can get there much, much faster than waiting the five to ten years it takes to build a power plant or extend a grid line. Organised by the Global Off-Grid Lighting Association, the four-day conference is expected to hear discussions on improving distribution network as well as governance of the sector. With increasing political momentum, organisers believe the conference should provide the right expertise for supporting startups and SMEs to play a role in the new market. The market has been picking that up, investors have been picking that up, and what we see here now is the fourth conference um, of this uh, sector that has been emerging over the last decade or so, and what is now becoming here in Dubai really in the next stage, a more commercial uh, market, uh, and really growing up. We'll expect many more companies to make uh, announcements of investments they are um, uh, realizing or new products they are launching. Uh, over the last year already saw quite a number of companies um, uh, getting uh, investments of $20 million or, or higher. Um, for our sector, that's real significant investments. Uh, more players are joining that, uh, that kind of uh, investment, and I think we'll hear more of announcements of that in this, uh, in this space.